Hey guys, what's up? Uh, Paul Klukey here from Online Marketing Gorilla. Um, I just wanted to share what I have discovered about uh, creating an Apple Apple icon for um, your mobile um, presence, and you know, and how to upload that to a Weebly site. And so, essentially, what you have here is, um, you know, when somebody wants to save your website to their home page. Um, what they have to do is they have to go into your website and then they click the kind of like the uh, upload or download share slash share button and it gives you an option to uh, save save it to the um, home screen and unfortunately it'll just take a mini snapshot of the entire um, website and so what people are doing now is they're creating an Apple icon to put on you know, for the mobile devices, for people that want to do that. So I'm going to show you how to do that um, here. Well, first off, you need an icon, and the icon needs to be 144. So let's change. We're going to change this to um, 110 by 73, and I'm going to save this. Um, and we'll save it here. We'll replace the image there since I don't need the other image. And now what we're going to do is we're going to um, want to create a new image and simply call it Apple dash touch dash icon. And we want to uh, make it 144 by 144. And uh, I like to change the color of the background, so I'm going to make this, um, well, we're not going to make it pink, we'll make it um, blue. And that kind of came out purple, so stand by one more. There we go. And all right, and I'm going to go ahead and also open an image as a layer. There we go. And I like that, right? So I'm going to go ahead and save this. Apple Touch icon. Now you need to save it into a PNG format. Hit OK. And uh, we'll save that. It's going to replace the one I currently have that I just used on the desktop, but that's fine. So now what I want to do is I want to go into the site where I want to upload it. And I'm going to go into Edit. And what I like to do is um, I like to add it to the page itself. So I'm going to go ahead and replace this one, replace the image, upload it. Here we go. Cool. And I'll publish that so I have it. Now the next step is you want to go to uh, the theme and you want to go to edit HTML. And I like to add the asset here. Uh, here we go. The plus sign, upload files. We're going to go ahead and add it here as well. Okay, so now I have it uploaded to the site. And bear in mind that depending on whether you're, you're using in Weebly the, a splash page or a header page or no header page or whatever, you're going to want to add that to the code. And I'm going to show you how to do that. The first thing that I do is I go to the site itself and simply go up to my tools and I go to web developer, I go to page source, and then I type in um, find and I type in apple and hit enter. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to find this, this information here. This is what I'm looking for. Uploads forward slash seven nine blah 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 right and um, let me go grab the code from the Apple site uh, or hang on you'll see it okay so you just go to Google and type in Apple icon code go to the developer site for Apple and then go ahead and copy this information here go back over to your header page and go where it's in the head right at the very top between uh, this area, what you want to do is drop this information into here. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and drop it into there. 
And this is, this is the part that we want to replace with what we found over in the page source. Uh, let me see where I put that. Okay, that, this is the part we want to take and drop into here. Then we're going to save this and publish. Now, if you haven't, if you're doing this for the first time, it may prompt you to, to rename the um, the name of the, the website. I mean, I'm sorry, the name of the theme, which I just use something that I can remember. It's not a, a big deal. What you want to do is you also want to enable this. So now we have that in the header, and we can grab this right here, this piece of code. We can go to the splash page, and again, where it says head, we can insert it. Cool. Now, if uh, we if you were if we were to go to my um, iPhone, let's see if I can switch this. I guess I'm not going to be able to switch on the um, what I wanted to see here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and see if it worked on my end. So I'm going to go to the website. I'm going to refresh it on my iPhone. I'm going to go to the button that allows me to add it. And there it is. So that worked perfectly. Okay. Um, hope that helps you guys. Uh, that is the way that I've been doing it and it seems to be working fine. Talk to you soon.